Hey, what's up, buddy? This is Hell Buddy again, and welcome to watch my very first tutorial of my SQL day format with using PHP for each function. First thing, let me show you the table on my database. Um, you can see one of the column name is called login day. That's what I'm going to show you. So let me do that. Select login day from login at this table name. Okay, let me click the go button. So you can see this column day from my original timestamp format. But I want to converse like this full text string format. So what should we do? We have three methods. The first, we need two things, my SQL day format and PHP for each function. So let me show you, this is my day PHP page, and this is my hard cooked statement source. First thing, we need to connect, make the connection. And that include my connection PHP page. So let me show you what's in it. This order statement hard cook for making the connection to my database. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to tell, give you more more detail about uh, the connection. So maybe later on you can check my help the channel. Maybe I will make the new tutorial for this topic, but not today. Okay, and um. The next thing you can see the error reporting for zero. I just want to make myself more convenient, so no any error message come out. So this will be ignoring me. So uh, the connection is really like the cell phone. Before you use this, you must get the wireless service. So if you want to connect your database, you must fix up your connections. So the same thing. And the query variable is a string of the query. That's you are going to ask for the database you want to query, uh, such as you have someone phone number. If you can't, you want to contact the person, so you have better to know their phone number. And the resource variable is uh, uh, I this like the send action. Uh, this like you got somebody phone number already on your hand, so you just hit the call button, so they will send a request to the person. The same thing for the database. And after that, we have to do the while loop. While loop is like keep fetching the the uh, query uh, such as like keep connection looping until the data uh, result find out so the same thing if you've called someone else just keep connecting until the person pick up the phone call and um the after that you can see uh, i do have the my sql free research this is just keep looking up free up my um, I mean the, the uh, request and the query and the last one I have to close the connection to protect my database So let me go back to check this query is a very important part uh, So let me get back to my database Okay, let me show you we already know this query, but I'm not going to using it We need to use is using day format function Select day underscore format we need to put open and close parentheses in the parentheses we have two parameters the first one is the login day variables the second I leave it empty so let me show you on my single day and time functions the details so we need to put the time string format uh, the description so every description in front of uh, the description, we have to put the percentage size in front of that. So you can check out uh, the link on my Hell Buddy blog. Let me show you a very simple example. But don't forget all of the description. You have put the percentage size in the front. Upper case of D, this is day of month with English suffix. Upper case of M, this is name of month. Upper case of Y, this is four digits of number X year. A lower case of R, this is show the timestamp of AM or PM. And I do all everything, the statement from my table, login table. Let me copy this and click the go button. Okay, can you see? Now the original timestamp formats converts like this, the full text day string format okay so we have go to the next and go back to my day PHP page so I have to paste 
this uh, uh, this query on, on this PHP page and we paste for this okay okay what's the next uh, I need to make the for each function for each and I put open and close parentheses so inside that this is dollar sign row the variable as key variable and I make equals arrow I mean equals arrow operator point to value this variable okay let me take a little time to explain this I have two different columns on the same table the first one is called username and the second one is called login day so this sounds like the two different array string and each string they do have the value in in there and each value they also do have the key tag okay now i'm just focusing the login day columns login day columns is like uh, belongs to row variable and the second one you see the number the, the key tag that belongs to key variable the last one is the value variable this is the, the data that's what i want to retrieve from my database that's all already have the date format okay so let me echo out everything so first thing i want to echo out the, the array row so uh, print underscore r and then put the row variables I just break this so later you will understand we show you this thing and echo out everything just individually and the row variable I break this and echo out the key and then echo out the last thing very important thing the values the day values and uh, just break everything okay let's see check out everything is ready okay okay let me save the page save it okay I have to open up the browser I need to refresh the page refresh it okay you can see oops I'm sorry I need to adjust the page size okay that will be much better okay okay first thing you can see I echo out the a print row so you can see the what arrays look like the for each look like okay you can see the first thing this is the array the column and the second is the um, the key tag the last one is the value as you can see back the uh, for each uh, statement so you understand how the property look like and that's I just echo it out automatically I mean individually so the row this is the uh, the type is uh, array and the second is the key tag you see the number this is the key tag the last one this is the value that's what we want to retrieve from the database this is the value the day already have the day format so that's this let me clean out this because I just want to show you guys the example uh, let me save this again and I refresh the page again so that's it that's what uh, what we done today and by the way I remind all bodies please don't forget to watch my next tutorial of my SQL day format with PHP array associate thank you for watching and please subscribe help the channel